Consider these two sets. Set A contains the numbers 2, 3, and 5, while set B contains the numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. Since 3 and 5 are common to both sets, these sets are overlapping, and their circles overlap partially in a Venn diagram. How do we represent A difference B? Recall that A difference B is the set that contains all the elements of set A that are not in set B. In other words, A difference B contains elements that are only in set A. This corresponds to this region, which contains the element 2. Since elements 3 and 5 are also in set B, we do not shade that region. To verify the shading, we can simply work out A difference B, which gives the singleton set containing 2. Therefore, when sets A and B are overlapping, A difference B is represented by shading the region that contains elements belonging only to set A. Similarly, B difference A contains all the elements of set B that are not in set A. Therefore, we shade the region which contains elements 1 and 7. What if the two sets are disjoint instead of overlapping? Study these two sets. Set A contains the even numbers 2, 4, 6, and 8, while set B contains the odd numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. On the Venn diagram, they are represented by two non-overlapping circles. To represent A difference B, again, we go back to the definition of difference. A difference B is the set that contains all the elements of set A that are not in set B. As before, this is equal to the region that contains elements only in set A. This is simply the full circle of set A. To verify, we can see that A difference B is equal to set A. Therefore, when sets A and B are disjoint, A difference B is represented by shading only the circle for set A. Similarly, B difference A contains elements only in set B. This is shown by shading the full circle of set B. Lastly, we consider the case when one set is a subset of the other. Study these two sets. Set A contains the numbers 1, 2, and 3, while set B contains the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since each element of set A is also in set B, set A is a subset of set B. On a Venn diagram, these sets are represented as two unequal circles, where the smaller circle represents set A and lies inside the bigger circle, which is set B. A difference B is the set that contains all the elements of set A that are not in set B. Since there are no elements that are only in set A, A difference B is an empty set. We can verify this with a simple calculation. Hence, we do not shade any region. How about B difference A? We will have a set that contains all the elements of set B that are not in set A. In other words, elements only in set B. This corresponds to the region that contains 0 and 4. Therefore, when A is a subset of B, A difference B is an empty set, while B difference A is shown by shading set B that lies outside set A. Now take a minute to illustrate the following using Venn diagrams. Let us review now. Observe that B is a subset of A, so the circle for set B will be placed inside the circle for set A in the Venn diagram. B difference A contains the elements that are in set B 
but not in set A. Since there are no such elements, it is an empty set, and we do not shade any region. Next, observe that sets A and C have one element in common, which is 2. Neither set is a subset of the other. Therefore, A and C are overlapping sets. A different C will contain elements that are in set A but not in set C. Hence, the region containing the elements 0, 4, and 6 is shaded. In summary, A difference B is a set that contains all the elements of set A that are not in set B. When two sets are overlapping, we shade this region for A difference B. When two sets are disjoint, we shade set A to represent A difference B. When A is a subset of B, we do not shade any region for A difference B. B difference A is shown by shading set B that lies outside set A.